Yo, what's good, motivators? It's your boy, Two Jamonics. And I'm not going to do a reaction on this episode. It's more of a review of streaming channels. I binge a lot of series. I watch a whole lot of movies. So I guess I can help you guys out in choosing the best streaming platform. And I'm going to be speaking about Netflix, Disney Plus, and Amazon. And where do I class them between the top three? I'm not going to speak about Showmax because it is South African. Um, this is purely my just, um, my opinion on how it is in South Africa with streaming channels. These three like particular streaming channels. So first off, I will start with Netflix. So Netflix, per price wise, I pay about hundred and fifty then, or less, because I added to I want the HD, the HD uh, plan, and well, yeah. Netflix. Um, they are releasing new content every Friday, a new movie or a new series. They have taken series like Cobra Kai that was on YouTube because YouTube didn't want to continue. They took it and they saved it. Another series was Manifest. They couldn't complete the story, but Netflix put money behind it uh, and put it on Netflix. Um, and the selection is wide. I mean. The, the the you don't have to rent the, the these movies they're on Netflix for a period of time unless if it's a Netflix original it will stay there like I think for forever but if it's a movie that's not from Netflix it will stay in for a certain time even a series like I couldn't even finish uh, Modern Family before it was uh, I was on season seven uh, by the time that he moved it from Netflix I think he moved to Disney Plus now. Um, my my downside is that that not everything can be there forever and the other downside is that for example i'm catching up i caught up with the good doctor and i caught up with uh, better call Saul, which is not netflix shows now, the issue with this is that i don't know in america but in south africa they don't have all like good doctors five seasons um, Better Call Saul, I think it's also, it's six seasons. But I'm waiting for two more seasons for Good Doctor. Luckily, 1st of October, season four is coming out. And then Better Call Saul, I don't know when season six will come. The, like, the close of the season on, the series on season six. Those are my downsides. I, I see um, Power's on, and I haven't finished Power. So I need to finish it before they decide to take it off. Uh, another downside is I feel like I don't really enjoy Netflix anime. I always watch anime on Crunchyroll, but I'm not going to speak about Crunchyroll. Um, the, which anime did I think is a good one? Oh, um, Ajin Demigod is really a good anime um, on, on Netflix. Uh, and they're a bit behind when it comes to anime. Like My Hero Academia. On Crunchyroll, it's already, I think it's going for season 5 or 6, I got my numbers confused. But they still, I think, on season 2 or 3 on Netflix. And trust me, that show you can finish it in one day, all three seasons, if you want to. But yeah, that's my view on Netflix. My view on Disney Plus is that uh, I feel like it is a bit cheaper with the, the year plan. Uh, you can take out a monthly plan or a year plan. Um, and uh, honestly, I love Disney Plus. But what disappoints me about Disney Plus is that it's only available on our cell phones or on a laptop. And I mean, I'm a type of person that likes to experience things uh, with my friends or family. Like, hey, we watch something and we comment on it and we react to it watching it. And it's really fun. But the problem is we can't even put Disney Plus on Xbox unless we find a, a way around like a VPN or something because it's not available in South Africa like 100% I think they need to relaunch the app to work on all devices and we're waiting patiently for that but once it comes then yeah we'll watch I mean I'll probably on Disney Plus more than Netflix I mean I love what this is putting out from Lucasfilm Lucasfilm, Fox um, they acquired Fox so I wonder if they're going to make a new Simpsons. Uh, will, there, will there be more seasons on that? 
Uh, and Modern Family is there now, so I can finish uh, all the episodes. But for now, I did cancel my uh, subscription because to watch it on the phone alone, it, is, it just isn't the same. Um, so yeah, that's my apps, obviously, dope shows. But I have a lot of downsides on this. I just hope they improve on the app so it can be available on Xbox, the uh, uh, PlayStation, or Android boxes, pretty tell. But yeah, so that was Netflix, and then my thoughts about Amazon Prime Video in South Africa. I pay about 238 rand, which is way more than Netflix and Disney Plus, way more. But um, <laughs> if you can see, uh, I'm waiting to watch The Samaritan of Sylvester Stallone. But every time I go to here, it keeps saying, like, it just shows you the trailer. It doesn't show you the movie. And it, which means I, I had to download the movie to watch it. I mean, how long must I wait? Another show is Truth Seekers, which is about um, paranormal investigators who are shooting a YouTube video, a YouTube series of their paranormal activity, uh, paranormal investigations. But, um, I can't watch it because it's not available in my region. And that's not the only movie. Then I'm getting excited. I'm seeing there's like a big selection of movies. But I must either subscribe further, like on Paramount Plus or, or Stars, or I just have to rent the series or movies. Now, mind you, on top of the subscription, that is too much. Like too much money to put out. I won't put it off at the moment because I'm still watching all, all of the series and. Amazon really does put out good content. Um, but yeah, that's my downside. It's it's way too expensive and you must still rent movies that you want to watch. That isn't on the... Um, that isn't like Amazon Originals. And regardless if it's an Amazon uh, Original and it's not available in your region, like what's the use? But these are my thoughts and I would list them as I'll put Netflix number one, I'll put Amazon number two, uh, purely because I can still watch it on TV, uh, with the family, with my friends, on Xbox or PlayStation. And then Disney Plus number three. If Disney Plus launches it to be available on PlayStation, Xbox and Android boxes, I trust, trust me, I will put Disney Plus. It'll be a better put Netflix and Disney Plus, but I think I, I'll put it to number one. <laughs> but yeah, those are my opinions. I hope this will help you decide um, if you want to use Amazon or want to use Disney Plus. If you, were, I'm sure most of us have been using Netflix for the for the longest time. But yeah, <laughs> um, so send me your thoughts in the comment section um, and tell me which streaming channel do you like. Like just type in in the comment section. No, I feel Netflix is number one. Or I feel Amazon is number one, just let me know. And I hope I've answered some questions if some of you were wondering, like, why aren't some things available? But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, and if there's any videos you want me to do reactions on, please check out the description for my WhatsApp number. Send me three fire emojis and I'll add you to the WhatsApp group and you can suggest any short film, music video, or trailer. You will let me do the action. So yeah, man. I'm signing out. Peace out.